guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the D McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Arkham Asylum Batman. I am extremely excited to be taking a look at this guy because I absolutely love the video games. Uh, they're definitely in my top 10 video games of all time. And uh, if I had to choose between one of them, definitely leaning towards Arkham City. Arkham Asylum's great too. Arkham Origins was, it was good, but there was nothing new. And then Arkham Knight was excellent but uh anyways i did get a new tripod i'm very excited about it uh and it's nice and fresh i can tell so uh <laughs> do not buy this uh that's all i can say um unless you know maybe it's just me if you if you review toys don't don't buy this okay anyways that's uh my p my uh psa for today anyways let's take a look at box it's got the simple McFarlane toys box which I absolutely love so simple on the side you can see where the Batman is from so Batman Arkham Asylum there is the back with the card that you get with the figure which I think looks pretty cool uh, and then you can see all the other figures uh, or cards in this little uh, weave it's not really a weave it's just an assortment uh, I do plan on picking up the Wonder Woman, and I do have the Joker, so subscribe to see that tomorrow. Anyways, there's the side of the box. Again, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you. Anyways, let's get this Batman opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got Batman out of the packaging, and I've got to say, I really do like this figure. Uh, he is, you know, missing two crucial uh, things. In my opinion, and I think in a lot of people's opinions, and one of those well, one of those things is um, a, an extra pair of hands. Uh, yeah, he should have came with fisted hands because you know one part of the game and one part that I feel like a lot of people would have posed uh, this figure is him punching people. And yeah, you can use these, but it's not as fun. You know, it's not as good to look at. Um, so, yeah, uh, alternative hands uh, would definitely have been nice. And double jointed elbows. Uh, I don't get why they didn't go with double jointed elbows. Maybe because they didn't want to make the arms longer than they already are. Which I, I guess I could, you know, understand that. But uh, he does come with a few accessories, which are pretty cool. So let's take a look at those. So here's like a grapple gun, which uh, I don't think it's accurate at all. I think this is like the exact opposite. You know, his a grapple gun is supposed to be nice and small and concealed, It'd be easy to conceal. This is like this is something like he carries around and throws away. You know, or he just keeps in the Batmobile. I don't know. It's a great looking sculpt. There's some you know nice little paint in here there, but the you know, the plastic they use is really nice as well. But, you know, I mean, Batman doesn't use the grapple gun this big. I don't know. That's just how I see it. I think it's a little too big for a grapple gun. But, yeah. It does look cool, though. I really do like it. And here... Excuse me. Allergies are killing me this year. Okay. Uh, he holds all of, all of his accessories very well. So you get the batarang, which looks really nice. I really do like that as well. It is a softer material, so you know it won't break on you. And then it comes with this. I, I really don't know, but it looks like bullets in there. Yeah, man, I really don't know what that is. Anyways, and then you get a battering folded, which I don't get why. What well, would have been cool if this was, you know, like something to punch with? I don't know. Or is it we? No, it's not. Okay. But yeah, no, I don't know, I don't know why. And, and finally, the card, which I think looks really cool. Obviously, you know that's the the picture they use in the cover of the game. I try to recreate it, but I don't think I necessarily got it. Yeah, I can't get the head to look down. Also, I've noticed, you know, with a lot of figures from the this game. They can never seem to get the chin right. You know, like, the chin's always a little bit too, like, narrow. You can see, even see it in this finger, but... Anyways, there's the back. All that. 
Oh my god, 2009? What the fuck? Holy shit. 2009? That doesn't seem right. Ay. God, I actually know that does sound about right. And then Arkham City came out in like 2012, maybe 13. Oh my god, I feel old. Oh, I'm only 18. Anyways. Here is the awesome Batman figure. Um, this is definitely top-notch sculpting and painting by McFarlane. Uh, one thing I would change, though, uh, and I guess it's a, a little bit of a gripe, but not too much. You know, it's just a little nitpick. I think the ears are a little long. Uh, I think they're a little too tall. Um, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, obviously... People can change that, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Other than the ears being a little long and the chin being really narrow. Like, I mean, look at this. Alright, let's take a look at the card again. Like, his chin is not that narrow. So, I don't know. I, a lot of figures, a lot of... Bat Sorry if you didn't notice in the background. Quarantine calls for everyone being home. Uh, you know. I don't know why all the Arkham Knight... Arkham game Batmans have narrow chins. The only one that doesn't is... Well, the... Arkham Origins one, but... Yeah, man. The eyes are in there, which look good and everything. And you get the uh, sculpted Bat logo right there, which looks awesome. Yeah, man, that looks nice. I like the cape, how it's sculpted. You know, get the shoulders right there. I think it looks great. Get the utility belt. Which looks great as well. Nice little, you know, wash in there. You can see, you know, the pouches and everything. Yeah, really cool. And then you get the gauntlets. With the... I, I always forget what to call these, but... I've also noticed, I don't know why, but even on the other figures, other, you know, Batman Arkham game figures, these like to curl in. I really don't get it, but... But yeah, I like how you can see some fabric uh, difference in there. And I love the boots. I think those are very accurate. For the most part, you know. I don't know. I mean, let's see. Can you even tell? Not really. Anyways. But yeah, man. I think those are great. Pet goes at the bottom of his feet, obviously. Also, yeah, duh. He comes with a display base, which have been very helpful, for the most part, for my DC Essential shelf, especially. Uh, but any, any figure, you know. Anyways. But yeah, man, really good looking figure. And then the cape looks really cool as well. It is a little long, but eh, it helps him stand. It's not a cape that makes him back heavy or, you know, pushes him forward like some capes do. Anyways, yeah, really great figure. This might, I don't know, like, this is definitely a top notch figure by uh, McFarlane. I don't want to say it's the best thing they made because it's still pretty early in the game. But, anyways, the head will look. Side to side, you can get them to look up quite a bit, which is awesome. Down a little bit, so you can't really get them to look, you know, like the Kubrick stare. It's just a tad, you know, it's not it's not great, but... It has butterfly joints, which is amazing, so you can't get the arms to move out like so. You can get the arms to move that far up, that far back. There's a biceps hole, and then here's the butterfly joint. So that's really cool. Bicep swivel, single-jointed elbows, which I... I'm, I don't know. I, I think they could have done double jointed elbows there. If I, if I hear them say, yeah, no, it just wouldn't work with the gloves and everything, I'd, I'd say fine. But for now, I think they could have done double jointed elbows. Uh, the hands and ankles are on those stupid ball hinges. Uh, I You know, let's get to that hand. Uh, you can get the ab crunch to go that far forward. Not that great, but you can get them to go back a little bit. And rotate and side to side, so that's pretty good. Do they have a lower? No, okay. Hip joints move out like so. He will kick out like so, which is good. Back a little bit, which is, eh, I mean, it doesn't go back. Could have used a thigh cut, double jointed knees. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ugh, double jointed knees. All right. Uh, no boot rotation, and the feet are on the uh, ball hinge as well. And he does have toe joints. But, I'm not sure if you can tell. That ball joint is really long. Um, it, it's a really... It looks like it's going to snap. It really does. Um, I haven't, you know, experienced any 
issues so far. You know, where's my wood? Not, yeah, okay. You know, uh, <laughs> that sounded wrong. Uh, anyways. Yeah, you know, I hope it doesn't break. I really don't. I really do hope it doesn't break. Uh, but anyways. So yeah, really cool figure. Now it's time for some... Oh my god. Please stand. It's not that hard. Thank you. Now it's time for some comparisons. So first up, we have... The original DC Arkham, I, I don't, I'm not actually sure. So that is from the, that might be an Arkham Knight, uh, City figure. This is definitely an Arkham City figure, but they're both the same suits. Uh, they're, they're, you know, yeah, they are the same suits, you know. And these are the closest things I have to the... Batman Arkham game, so, uh, you can definitely tell, you know, I, th I feel like this figure definitely took inspiration from, um, probably this guy rather than this guy, because they do look so, so similar. Even the head sculpt looks very similar to one another, right? Anyways, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I love all these, these three figures. You know, this guy's articulated, he kind of has the DC icons articulation and everything, but anyways... So, yeah, I had to dig for those, believe me. Uh, anyways, uh, and then here is another McFarlane Toys Batman comparison. So here is the uh, Detective Comics 1000 Batman, which is, I consider just to be the temporary Batman. Contemporary Batman. Uh, I was going to pull out the Hell Bat suit and the Batman who laughs, but I don't know. I think those are too different for this sakes, but... Uh, believe me uh, when I say that when I get my hands on that White Knight Batman, I will bring these two back out and say, you know, um, wh which Batman is the best? Between these two, I don't know, I like them both very different. Uh, I like them equally, but for different reasons. I think this is very accurate and, you know, faithful to the game. I think this is an awesome looking Batman, you know, conic version. So, anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you liked this review, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And make sure you do leave a comment down below. Make sure you do subscribe and uh, subscribe to see the Joker review. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.